God judges all people. Our key verse, In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel, Romans 2, 16. Our selected scripture, Romans 2, verses 1 through 16. The key verse in this lesson points forward in time to a future day of judgment that will be administered over the whole world under Christ's kingdom, Acts 17, 31. This new order in the affairs of mankind will assist in lifting up the people and will direct the removal of the death penalty that all have suffered under. During that time, the sin-sick world will be educated in the ways of truth and righteousness and give an opportunity to obtain everlasting life as perfect and obedient children of God. The administration of this kingdom will be under the control of our Lord Jesus and his faithful bride class, Revelation 20, verse 4. Paul directs our attention to the degree of human degradation which has come upon mankind and the willingness of fallen humanity to attempt the judging of others in their weaknesses of the flesh. He says, Thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest dost the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, that doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Romans 2, 1 through 3. The apostle points out that ignorance in such matters of judgment against others is to disregard the basic principles of righteousness. Continuing, the apostle inquires, Despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth to repentance? Verse 4. All of God's works are perfect and glorious, as attested by the gift of his Son, our Lord Jesus. This reveals his unspeakable love for his human family. God's goodness and mercy lead to repentance in the human heart, and all who are exercised thereby are richly blessed. There is a measure of responsibility directed toward those who harbor unrighteousness in hardened and impenitent hearts. This is emphasized in the Apostle's statement concerning the wrath of God that is to be manifested at the end of the present gospel age. After thy hardness and impenitent heart treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds? Verses 5 and 6. The day of wrath that is progressing upon the present world's social order is the natural consequence of man's selfishness and pride. We note that to them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, verse 7. This indicates the class of consecrated believers who are motivated by righteousness and are walking in newness of life. They are striving to overcome the ways of the present evil world and are resting in faith as conditions in the world grow more violent. They are setting their affections on heavenly things above. Colossians 3, 2. However, those who do not heed the instructions of God's word and continue to possess a contentious spirit will reap the tribulation and anguish of soul that will surely come upon them. For certain, the righteous judgments of God are coming upon the earth at this end of the gospel age. For with God there is no respect to persons, either Jew or Gentile, as Paul explains. Romans 2, 8 through 11. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen.